Well, I'm a little excited. Uh, I stopped over at my music store down the street over here, and I brought the Dead Man with me. So I took the one of my cases that I had the uh, um, ART 800 Ibanez inside of, and I put the Dead Man inside of it. It's very fucking cold over here. I mean, really, really cold over here. So I ended up uh, starting up the car, letting it warm up, throw a guitar in the case, brought it over to the music store. Had to stand around over there a little bit because there was uh, a lot of people over there as far as uh, um, uh, you know customers and shit goes, which is like the first time I've seen this place this crowded in a long time. But kind of benefited me a little bit. Um, I don't have Facebook. I never don't like Facebook. Uh, but the guy who took pictures of this thing, the Dead Man Guitar, is going to put it on his Facebook page. Uh, he builds, he buys like, guitars and kind of refinishes them all right and uh he's got a an esp um kind of like the eclipse i think they call it the esp eclipse it's basically the same thing as a um uh less paul style body he ended up doing a refinishing job where he used a printer he's got this big table printer and it sprayed some type of a um a uv uh UV resistant type of a uh, ink that came out of it and he did on the top of the ESP guitar he did a um, uh, like a British flag on top of it and he was showing me pictures of it and it came out really nice and then I opened up the case and I showed him this thing here and so they took pictures of this and they're supposed to put it up on their Facebook page but uh, what I wanted to do is bring it over there and show the owner or the guy who runs the place over at the music store. He's been kind of itching me to bring some of my guitars over by him. But, you know, personally, um, you guys seen the pictures of him. You guys seen the videos of him and stuff like that. But, you know, it's kind of like one of those things where I don't think it, it could be better. You know, I don't think they're good enough. But, you know, you guys see it and you guys, you know, watch the videos and stuff like that and do the oohs and the ahs and that looks nice and stuff like that but to me it's like you know i could do a little bit better you know it's, it's one of those things where even like an artist drawing a paint painting a painting and stuff like that always know it feels that they can uh, do better than what they did the first time around so he's been itching for me to bring over one of the guitars that i built so i brought over the uh uh dead man's and the outcome of it was fucking awesome I had so many people standing around me, number one. One guy, uh, like the guy who does the Facebook thing, uh, he played it a little bit, and he liked it a lot. And he was asking, you know, is, is this for sale? You know, are you selling it and stuff? I says, right now I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it, uh, but I want to enjoy it a little bit before I actually put a price tag or put it on eBay or something. I says, I was thinking about doing the eBay thing. Then we started talking about... Uh, I guess he did the same thing where he was buying and selling guitars and I told him what I was doing with them on eBay and stuff too and he even said the same thing that it got to the point where people were putting such a, a high price tag on their guitar on eBay it wasn't worth buying anything anymore because you weren't going to make anything off of them which this guy was right. So I want to take this thing out and put the guitar that's supposed to be in this case back in this case but I ended up showing it to the guy who runs the music store. And <clears throat> he held it. He was playing it a little bit. And uh, the guy's a fucking excellent guitar player. He didn't have it plugged in or anything, but he was playing around with it just like acoustic. You know? um, so he asked me, he says, you know, are you selling it? And I says, I don't know yet what I'm going to do with it. I says, I have no idea. So he was looking at the inlays and the, the inlays on the neck and everything else. And he was very fucking impressed. And I was really surprised at the his outcome. You know, it's one of those things, like I said, you don't think you did good enough. When you, when you make something or build something or you think you could do better, you know. And I was really surprised at his reactions. So he made me an offer for 300 bucks for the dead man. And I told him, I says, I says, well, that's, you know, a good offer. I says, but, uh, you know, I don't want to walk in here and see it on your rack for, you know, 500 bucks or 600 bucks or whatever, you know, after I leave. And he's like, oh, I can understand that. And I says, all right, fine. I wish I had my fucking phone with me, but it was on charge here in the basement. Um, man, it, 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 this was pretty cool. Uh, so another guy walked in who uh, is, you know, just a guitar player. And the owner says, hey, come check this out. So he opens up the case again, and he's showing it off. And the other guy is kind of flipping about it, you know, with the artwork and shit like that, the, the bullet inlays and... Uh, 
for some reason, the neck was a big issue with these guys as far as looking at the inlays go and, and how it was done. They were asking me questions about what I did and how I did it and stuff. Uh, the biggest thing is, you know, they know what Wilkinson's are, but as far as the Dragonfire pickup, uh, nobody knows what the hell that is, especially over at that store. So when they asked about the pickups and stuff, you know, I told them, I said, well, it's a P90 Wilkinson's and the other one is a Dragonfire humbucker. And they're like, what's a Dragonfire? So, you know, that I can understand. This is a guy who has a music store who sells, you know, all the brand name uh, EMGs and, and, you know, shit like that that you would know of, not the China crap. So it was kind of cool. I really enjoyed the visit over there. Um, I got to say, this thing really put up a nice show. And... Uh, so I don't know what I'm going to do or how I'm going to do it yet, but uh, we'll see what's going to come up in the future for this puppy. But uh, I ended up putting my logo on the headstock. So all it, just, all it says is EJC's Customs on it. And uh, yeah, they were really impressed with it as far as the bullet inlays. And they didn't quite notice this right off the bat. It was like, oh, it was like a surprise to them when they saw the, uh, the switch. But yeah, I'm fucking happy. So I was asked, see this is the guitar that belongs in this case. Make sure this puppy is okay, if there's no problems with it, because I haven't touched it in a long time. No, everything's good. Everything's good. But uh, I was asked when my next project is going to be. And I told him, I says, well, I'm not going to be building kits no more. And the one guy says, that's a kit guitar? I says, yeah, it's that, that came from a kit. And again, you know, the question was asked about you know, how much was the kit and stuff. And I told him, I says, you know, this was like a $140 kit. You know, it wasn't one of the cheap ones. It was kind of like in the middle. And uh, a guy was asking questions about the kit. Know, how did it come out, out of the box? You know, what type of work did I have to do to the body as far as sanding goes? You know, is, was there any problems with this, that, and the other? And I told him, you know, what kits basically are. And uh, so he's thinking about building one himself, you know, going on eBay and buying one. And, uh, yeah, this was fucking awesome. This was actually pretty fucking cool. I just wish I had my goddamn phone with me to record this shit. But. Oh. So, yeah, I'm really fucking, I'm thrilled. So now he's waiting for me to uh, bring over something that I've actually built so I told him I says anyway it's not going to be for a while I says I have some tools that I have to collect uh in order to do this so I do this the right way I says I'll probably get away with some without some of the tools that I want to get but there's a few more power tools that I need and uh yeah I'm, I'm fucking happy I've been wanting to get a break from this guy um for my setups and shit like that but he's got a guy who does setups and stuff and uh I brought a few guitars that I've bought off of eBay over there for him to check out and stuff like that to make sure that, uh, uh, just to get what his opinion was. And I wanted to sell him a couple of guitars as well, which I have. Uh, but this is different. This is totally different. This is not a store-bought guitar that I sold to him. This is something that I've actually built myself, not from scratch, but, you know, and I'm fucking, I'm really happy. So, my name is not really out there, but uh, I am a little bit known now. And uh, so now I got to do better than what I've been doing. So, this is pretty fucking cool. This is pretty fucking cool. I'm really fucking happy. So, you guys take it easy and have a good one. And I will catch up with you guys later.